Okay, so today I want to talk a little bit about the clarinet ligature. So this is the one I want to compare. Daniel Bonad inverted to my own Ishimori. Uh, they're both mine now, but the Ishimori uh, solid silver. Okay. And I'm going to talk about them after I do a little bit of playing. grab it low and then it will just work because I want something that is so overly um, so overly um, dependable my teacher used to say you uh, the only way to be prepared uh, I should have been talking to this so uh, the only way to be prepared is to be over prepared and I think that's true um, so the Daniel Bernard, this is nickel played in plated in um, silver. And this Ishimori ligature is solid silver. And this is actually on loan from my teacher. Technically on loan, but I've had it from 2000 and oh, maybe 2014. Um, but I like that ligature a lot. There's really not that many ligatures that I've played since that ligature that I feel like is so, de um, so, uh, reliable. And I've dropped this ligature so many times, but it's, it's held its uh, shape pretty well. And they're both tarnished. And this one I actually just picked up from the store, store I work at, um, they actually just gave it to me because it's, t I, I tried to buy it from them, but they're like, ah, just take it. It's tarnished. Um, and, uh, and it's, I guess, the, I guess I, uh, like they like me. So <laughs> yeah, we don't just give out uh, tarnished stuff for free. Just so you know, uh, that was, I think that was kind of a joke on his end. Anyway, so, okay. Then how do we choose a ligature? Well, for me. What's really, really important is, of course, the response. So I want something that um, has a very, very immediate, but not too immediate, but comfortable immediacy um, of sound emission. But also I want that, of course, sound to be good and controllable all throughout the register. Yeah, I know I'm asking a lot from the literature, but something like that okay so <laughs> I just thought I was playing. 
not gonna dump on that, but um, this, this is dip on that. Ooh, that's nice. So, yeah, this one I actually, you know, wasn't so great. I mean, it was great, but not as great in the beginning. So I've heard from multiple sources that um, the these ligatures you kind of have to like mold them into shape and i kind of bent it so that the rails they have, there's uh, there are two rails in here yeah there we go two rails right here or maybe this is better oh yeah so much better yeah so i want that to both touch the the reed and a lot of times these only one of them will touch the reed or none of them will touch the reed so i kind of push this side in this way so that it would touch the reed um, and then now they both touch the reed and it feels really good um, this one it's honestly i think it basically just copied the banad except uh, has a hole for i think just more evenness in the playing experience and because i feel like on this one you know it's the same Kind of design but no hole in the middle on this one i feel like the clarion gets a little bit more uh, compact and kind of maybe a little bit more resistant so it's not as even as this however somehow i still like having that amount of resistance against me to play with so i again i just picked this up i have played bananas before but this is this plays a little differently um i think because i you know kind of molded it into shape um but anyway so i think this is honestly the closest i've gotten to this um from you know uh there's also a ligophone ligature that i've uh, a couple of them i tried that they're really good but they're just not so easy to find these days um in the, in the united states so once i get hold of them i'll try them for sure and make a video but yeah, so this is the one that I now I want to recommend to all my students and to you guys and other professionals. But just know that this you have to shape kind of. Uh, you, maybe you, if you're lucky, uh, you won't have to. Now there's also the non-inverted banad ligatures, but however those ones, for some reason, just like the optimum ligatures for me, when you leave it on the mouthpiece with the reed on there the next time you go to play it the reed kind of has warped already and doesn't really play for me i don't know why it's just this is bizarre because i've never had that issue with this um or this one so far but that's why i don't use that one and i think this honestly is a little bit more for me um more I don't know. I just like the sound, the compactness of the sound more than the, the other one. The, but the other one is really good too. I, I've, I had one that was really good, but I think I like stepped on it or something. I, yeah, I, I, I do the dumbest things really. Um, okay. Do I have anything else to say about those ligature? So, um, so this one is about, I think like close to $300, maybe 260, 270. This is closer to thirty dollars, so you know, no brainer. Okay, so this, this, yeah, this is what it looks like: three bends, two bends, um, two rails, two rails. But this one has hole. This one doesn't have a hole. Uh, screws are kind of the same shape, but on the bonnet, the the knobs are bigger. Um, these feel a little jankier, or I don't know what janky actually means, but a little rougher. But if you put um, key oil on them, it feels like really good. So anyway, yeah. I mean, these are both played by super pros and they're both very reliable. So I re really recommend them to you guys. And 
again why i recommend these ligatures is because when you tongue them the, the tonguing is so good and it they both project really well um they both um when you tongue them, it doesn't sound flat, it sounds in tune, or maybe a little higher, which is actually better than just being in tune, because when you blow and, and if you're perfectly in tune, it might go flat, so anyway, that's too much uh, technical uh, detail, but um, yeah, so one last uh, test we have to do is, is it going to hold the reed when you take the mouthpiece off the barrel? And the answer to that is, it depends how tight your mouthpiece is to the barrel. And of course, I mean, duh, but what I mean by that is how tight is the cork or how like, yeah, how tight is the cork fit, fitting to the barrel. So Ishimori, test the test. Let's do the knot. is the test there you go okay uh, thank you guys um, let me know if there's anything I missed uh, this video was really really made on a whim so if there's anything I missed yeah but let me know in comments what you guys think of the sound on uh, both of them thank you bye bye